You guys, I'm about to test out this Inslee Rain Flower Moon palette, this gorgeous palette here. And look at these colors in here. They are just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. They're so gorgeous. And I was just swatching like the shimmers out just to kind of figure out what I want to put on my lid. And it's like, <sighs> they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. So I still haven't decided what I'm going to put on my lid, but I'll show you guys the final result. But I love the colors in this palette. It's so pretty. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this is the final look um, that I created using this Inslee Rain Flower Moon palette. And these, ugh, I really like this palette. I don't typically go for, you know, the lighter summer, springtime shades on my eyes, you know, cause I like a lot of color. I like a lot of punch. But I decided to just keep it light, keep it airy, you know, it's summer. And so I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and chill out for a minute. Let's <laughs> just chill out for a minute. Enjoy the shimmers, you know, keep the lid light or whatever. So I just used these two shades right here, this kind of dusty rose and this really pretty orange shade, you know, in my crease area and just kind of punched it up. And then I went in with this shimmer here. And which one did I do in the inner corner? I think I did this one in the inner corner. So it's like they shift and kind of, you know, switch up so much till it's like you just never know what, you know, shimmer, the shimmer is going to look like on your lid because one minute it could look pink, one minute it could look gold, one minute it could look silver. I don't know but I feel like it's really pretty. So I really like this palette, I really do. I, I, the mattes are nicely pigmented, which I, I already use the cold, what is it, the cold moon uh, or cold mountain? I don't know, the really cool gray tone one. And I love that palette. So I knew I was gonna love this one, but it's like their shimmers are just, ooh. I know I already showed you guys on my hand, you know, like, what the shimmers look like but look at this ah and so yeah i stayed away from the blue and the purpley one or whatever but they are so so pretty so yeah if you're wondering if Inslee rain's you know palettes like this are any good they are really really gorgeous i mean absolutely beautiful and the quality is next level so although they are pretty pricey you know like i said before they're pretty pricey they're gorgeous they are so anyway this is the look and you know now i'm just going to try to put some photos up on instagram but i do not feel good you guys i don't know what's wrong with me today i don't feel good like my stomach is like not happy right now so uh, eh, you know, I know it's just like that. It's just one of those days, I guess. But I did force myself to, um, with some of the mats, I did force myself to test out this palette because I really, really wanted to just kind of see, you know, if I liked it or not. And so those are some of the mats, as you can see. I still had shimmers on my hands, so, but yeah. Really, really pretty. That dusty rose, gorgeous. So anyway, I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna do today because of the fact that I don't feel that great and I need to go cook dinner. Uh, it's still early. I don't have to cook right now, but I might just kind of prep everything. I think I'll make like some pork chops and rice and onion gravy kind of in the mood for something like that. And that's hubby's favorite. So I think I'm gonna cook that for him today. So when I cook, you guys might cook with me, but right now, honey, your girl has got to wash her hands, clean up her makeup mess and just kind of chill for a minute. So I'm wondering if it was the egg. I had two boiled eggs for breakfast, you know, 
that might be why my stomach is upset because but it eggs usually don't bother me they don't bother my stomach i can eat a one or two boiled eggs for breakfast and i'm good today i'm not feeling so bueno so anyway yeah, I'll probably come back and talk to you guys when I'm cooking unless something else arises and y'all need to hear about it, okay? <laughs> so, hope y'all having a good day. I'll see y'all later.
And did you like it? Look at my plate. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? <laughs> I'm about to go in there and get me some more. Hey, you guys. Well, as you saw, I just um, I cooked dinner and had dinner. Um, and it was delicious. <laughs> I made some onion gravy. I don't know if you, if you don't like onions, I guess you wouldn't like onion gravy, but I love onion gravy, okay? And hubby does too, so. I made some onion gravy and some fried pork chops. And now we both stuffed. He probably on the couch sleep, quite honestly, but I came in here and I took off my makeup you know, before I wash my face, I like to take, you know, the majority of my makeup off, just chilling, relaxed and comfortable. And then I go and <laughs> scrub my face and stuff. But it's like, I keep forgetting to put my nose ring back in. And it's like, I never notice it until after I already, um, you know, uh, take my pictures or do my video or something. I'm like, girl, where is your nose ring? So. I'm going to put it in for now, just so that I don't forget if my hole is still open. But my hole don't be closing. It stay open, so she in there. She good. So anyway, I got some um, new, well, new to me blushes from clarity and they are so pretty but i'm kind of like uh not happy because one of them came completely crushed i'll put a picture here of what it looked like when i opened the package not a pretty sight but you know i've had that kind of thing happen to me several times over the years and not only that um, you know, I'm used to repressing stuff. I've had it happen with Clarity because sometimes their pressed shadows and stuff would be so soft that they just explode. So, but these are the colors that I got. These are all of the blushes that I got. Uh, you can see them. I, I ain't trying to drop them. Hold on. There we go. So these are all the colors that I got. So, so pretty gorgeous but this one here is the one that came obliterated this super super bright pink and this one is be mine but as you can see i repressed it pressed it back in there real real hard you know with the napkin and stuff tried to clean it up as best as i could you know as you can see it's still residue all up in there but I cleaned it up as best I could and, you know, just kind of sprayed it with a little alcohol. And then I tested some out on a brush to make sure that I could still get the pigment. And it still works nicely. But this one is like my favorite color. This one looks so pretty to me. It is, what is this? Extra shot, please. I think that's what this is. Extra shot, please is so gorgeous it's kind of like a terracotta um you know yeah just like a terracotta warm earthy color and it's just it's so pretty it's so rich this light in front of me is pretty bright but it's actually really really pretty so that one is actually my favorite color and then i got this one which is strawberry mimosa and this is what this one looks like. So it's another beautiful pink, but not quite as bright as the Be Mine. See, the Be Mine is like just bright, bright. If you can see, I don't know if you can really see a difference, but this one is like way, way brighter. I can't even say way, way brighter because this one is pretty bright too, but this one is more like a watermelon pink. And this one is more like, you know, like my shirt type pink, like pinkity pink pink, you know what I'm saying? So this one is really pretty. It's more of like a watermelon uh, type pink, but they're both gorgeous. And my friend Lily said that she had got one, I, I think one she said she got. So this one is Mulberry Rose. And she said these mugs are mad 
pigmented and I believe that because you know clarity stuff is always mad pigmented but just looking at these brushes <laughs> blushes they look mad pigmented you know what I'm saying so yeah that's what that one looks like so this one is more like the deep plummy type shade really pretty so yeah so anyways those are gorgeous love those I ordered me some more um lash extensions i wanted to try some different styles because i wanted to um you know just kind of see which ones i like the most and i think i would like something a little more like curled and fluffy not too too crazy now but something that's not necessarily so kind of straight out you know something that's a little more curled and fluffy so these are um some that i bought and I'll link them in my Amazon store. If you look in my description box, I always have my Amazon list linked in there and you can click on it. You can just kind of peruse through and see all the stuff that I buy. I can't even open this child and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. But yeah, cause before I even started cooking, you know how I told you guys that I wasn't feeling good. My stomach was hurting, so now I'm really tired. I had actually went downstairs and fell asleep. I ate a, a little uh, turkey sandwich for lunch or whatever, and I was tired and I fell asleep. So this one comes with the bond and the seal um, with it. And I guess this is the brand on this one. And so, let's see what these look like. Because they're supposed to be a little more fluffy, a little more kind of, you know, curled or whatever. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look to the side, I guess, maybe. That's a kind of strange way, but I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, these are supposed to be a little more fluffy and a little more curled, which they do look like that to me. They do look like they are a little more fluffy and a little more curled. Let me see if I can get this to, you know, has a little more curl to it. So, yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. We will check them out. I would put some on now, but I'm just gonna have to go, you know, wash my face and stuff. So that wouldn't make any sense. I'll put some of these on with you guys maybe tomorrow, but. Anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys and say good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, you guys. So, I don't know where this is gonna fall in this vlog. This vlog is like over several days. Um, so I don't know how many days it's been <laughs> since I vlogged, but today's July 4th. Um, and hubby and I are just at home chilling. Uh, I'm supposed to be smelling some ribs, but hubby is downstairs on the couch with his feet up chilling. So needless to say, I ain't getting no ribs today, okay? It's all good. <laughs> hubby deserves a break, a rest from cooking. So yeah, so we just chilling. I mean, he's trying to get me to go to the casino, but I'm not in the mood to go to the casino because uh, I'm not in the mood to possibly lose no money today. If I lose some of my money, I'm gonna be irritated today. So it's best if I stay home during those times. But um, this eye look, I haven't done a purple eye look in a while. Um, and I wanted to play with my Born to Run. So, it's so funny. I was like trying to, you know, get all my stuff together <clears throat> to film my, I guess, makeup roundup video or whatever. Just, you know, giving my little reviews on the products that I used from last month's Shop My Stash. And I did not use any of the palettes that I picked <laughs> last month. And I'm not surprised because honestly, when I sit down to do my makeup, unless it's just a new palette that I just am dying to try, I usually just kind of like go by how I feel that day. And a lot of times, the palettes that I pick during Shop My Stash are not the palettes that I feel like using at that time. So, 
I think this might be one of the only palettes that I chose from last month's Shop My Stash that I actually use. <laughs> they were all different palettes, so don't be surprised in my bad, but I don't know. But I decided to do my Shop My Stash a little different this time coming around. So it's the same format, but as far as my palettes go, I'm going to do it a little different. It's still going to be fun though. So anyways, I use this palette to create this look. If you can see that. So I just used obviously the purple shades in here. I deepened it up with this brown. And I also went in on my lids because I wasn't really too excited about the shimmers in the Born to Run. I went in with my Flower Beauty <coughs> Garden Lights palette so I went in with the shimmers from this palette which are so so pretty to me love them and then I said I wanted to play around with my little single pot shadows more and this is one that I got <laughs> years ago from like AliExpress or something if I can get this open but I got a bunch of these years ago from AliExpress and that's why I'm so surprised that they actually still perform just like when I first got them child but look at this color gorgeous and I mean the pigmentation is just absurd okay absurd do you see that absurd <laughs> so it's like a really really gorgeous satin like fuchsia magenta type shade mm. and so i put that like on the outer portion i covered a lot of it up with the flower beauty but so gorgeous so i'm trying to incorporate um more of my little pot singles you know my color pops and my little generic ones and stuff just because you know i want to use them they're pretty so i should be using them but anyway Yep, it's the 4th of July. I'm chilling. I'm surprised I don't hear no popping and gunshots and stuff yet. They usually start bright and early. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes today because I'm sure it'll be going on long into the evening. But yeah, so I might possibly be going to the casino with hubby. My not, okay? But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week whenever you watch this. A wonderful weekend. And I'll check in with y'all later.